Well, look at this old map, right on the coast in Ireland. Cultural route. It's actually better than what's online. Let's have a quick look. Well, my phone's updating. I've got no idea where I am. I got pretty lost. Hopefully, it updates before I'm supposed to meet my mates. So, let's see. What's down there? Just taking a much needed drink, mate. I've done about 8.8 kilometers. Sometimes when you're walking about in an old area like this, it's just good to look up and see some of the old buildings, look. Famous Salah Chalam Kroon Royal Theatre. <laughs> I had something in my mind from 20 something years ago when, after I've been to Kowsan Road for the first time. and uh, got a taxi around here, saw this canal area, had the window open, felt the atmosphere and thought, wow, that's, for 20 years, it pops in my head. I thought, that's a really peaceful place. Where is it? Well, the last couple of weeks, I've rediscovered the whole area, really. Look, see how old these trees are, look at these. The old and beautiful area. few little stalls here where people are just fixing electricals and stuff it's amazing how little areas here have places like this you know, he's fixing old TVs speakers etc so I should bring some of my older stuff down here I think the working classes here can't afford to just buy new stuff and they get it fixed look at that this whole area Beautiful architecture, a lovely peaceful area compared to any other part of Bangkok, really. It's the Ministry of the Interior. Hazal building. Jeez, I'm just walking back on myself. Look up there, I've, I've walked down here already. What a nutter. Yeah, believe it or not, this is Bangkok's original shopping district. This modernization comes and the big moles come, obviously. Most people go to New Bangkok on the other side of Siam Square, but it's far more exciting down here. The sounds, the smells, just everything. There's a maze of alleyways you can get lost for days and days and days and days. And there is a shop for literally everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. This road was once the high society area of this town. Hold off in there for filming, but that's the land of time.
Let's go down this climb. Eventually takes us to the other park where we want to go to Romniat Park. Oi. <laughs> I think I was, yeah. Okay, so that's the side of White Ratchabo Pit. I saw those policemen type dudes on another gate on the other side. This is, this is just normal. This is actually not a poor area. It's uh, average, average working class area. Just happens to be canal side still. And again, look, oxygenating the water with solar power. Other smaller little apartments here. Studios, mainly. Ah, oh, proper little area, look. This is Klong Ratchabo Pit. Wat Ratchabo Pit, rather. Hello, kitties. get lost like this, I don't know where I am, all I know is uh, I'm on Matanaco St Island still. Happy days, no? Traditional old shop houses on one side and food on the other. It's often the way with a, a canal around there. There's a Territorial Defence Command over there. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower in this area in general. Best not to act like a prick. Oh, gun shop. Let's have a butcher's. anything in there there are gun shops all over this but I think this area I remember seeing on the map there were quite a plethora of gun shops and uh, and the like it's very rare that particularly in the countryside that a Thai household doesn't have a gun somewhere in it mine does not but you know I'm not from not from that way of life am I well, this looks like the park. Let's have a go. Surely you're not going to run a monk over. More gun shots, look, and artillery, and it's like a pump action. <laughs> All of these are available, look. Shotguns, pump actions, AK 47s, Zuzis, whatever you want, I think. Good job, 
not being naughty today. More gunshots, but... Telescopic sight, machine gun, lovely job. Get some guns. Oh, that's not. I'm from the UK, I know nothing about firearms. It's the territorial defence shooting range, look. You get look, gun and coffee. Good. Hello. Oh. Well, there's the firing range. Look. Fantastic. Put on a cup, do that my cup. Set non cup. I don't know. I don't know. Well I tried to get in the shooting range. My problem there was I asked him. I said, can I go there and have a little look, please? He went, nah. I said, go on just for a minute. He went, nah. So I should have probably just done it, shouldn't I? Never mind. You get the idea. There's a lot of guns here. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, you tourists who come over here, be very careful with the Thai men. Really, don't think you can come over here and be much bigger than people and, and take the piss. Oh, I'm going to do this geezer in a street fight, mate. There's a thing here translated from Thai and it means pack attack. Like a dog fight, like a dog pack coming. If you mess about with the wrong person, <laughs> They're coming back mob, mob-handed, mate. Absolute mob-handed, trust me on that one. Never happened to me, but it's happened to plenty of people, plenty of people in the past. It's not a tie on a, a foreign thing, it's just part of the culture here. For the working classes, we have football hooligans in England, yeah? Here they have technical colleges and other kinds of things, but on any level here, low society, high society, wherever you fuck about with the wrong person <laughs> and they're going to come back mob-handed you've been warned <laughs> 